It's considered the largest mission-style revival building in the country, and it's right here in Southern California in downtown Riverside. Tonight, Sky 9's Desmond Shaw takes a look at this landmark that was nearly demolished. Well, take a look at this. It is one of Riverside's most famous landmarks. This is the Mission Inn, which dates all the way back to 1876. Back then, it was called the Glenwood Cottage. It was a simple boarding house, but it was Frank Augustus Miller who bought the cottage and the land from his father in the 1890s. And by the 1900s, it was a full-fledged hotel as Riverside was in the midst of a citrus gold rush. People coming from all over the world, they needed a place to stay. Some of them stayed here. It worked out very well for Miller. He made so much money, he decided to uh, add on to the hotel in various architectural styles. Really interesting. So Mission Revival is the main architectural style, but there's also Mediterranean, Renaissance Revival, Spanish Colonial, and it's all just kind of uh, melted together here into a really, really cool building. He also traveled the world looking for antiquities, and apparently inside this hotel, there is a bell that dates all the way back to the year 1247. Now, Miller died in 1935, and then over the decades, the hotel kind of went downhill, and it almost got torn down in the late 1980s. That's when Dwayne Roberts came in. He bought the property, helped restore it, and uh, also just bring it up to modern times. And with the help of his wife, Kelly, they helped make it a triple A four diamond luxury resort. They're still the owners of the hotel today. Apparently they put on a really amazing holiday display called the Festival of Lights with literally millions of lights. So a very cool year round destination hotel right here in your own backyard. Looks like a very cool place to do a staycation. The Mission Inn in downtown Riverside. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at look at this at cbs.com.